Dressage Plus. And for today's video, I'm actually recording this up at our family bush block up near Albury. And this is, we've come away, it's a long weekend in Melbourne, and I've come away with my family, and we're up here camping, and just enjoying this beautiful weather up here. So uh, my parents brought this property, it's 170 odd acres of bushland. Uh, they brought it back before I was born, and we've had all our family holidays up here, and just, yeah, we don't get up here as often as we'd like to, but it's really great and special when we do come up here. So I thought, well, I've got a bit of time up here relaxing, so I'll record a video. And this video is the first series, first video of a series all about how to remember your dressage tests. And also I want to talk about different ways to, uh, different learning styles. So really discussing the different ways we can learn so that we're making sure we're learning our dressage tests the right way. So I actually have a free riding quiz which you can download, uh, there'll be a link on in the text on this page. So you can download that writing quiz and then work out which is just 12 short questions to work out what's your natural learning style so that you can make sure you're learning your test in the right way. So this video I actually wanted to share, there's two reasons really why you could be forgetting your dressage test. So if you're a writer that finds that you Forgetting your dressage test or remembering your dressage test is a challenging thing about competing and you get worried about forgetting your test and it's happened quite a few times so it makes you feel more worried and anxious about competing. If that's you then this video series is designed for you. So this video I want to explain there's two different reasons why we can forget our dressage test or why it's kind of like an, more of an ongoing problem not just a one-off time of forgetting our test. So the first reason is that you uh, so you fall into the I suppose the first category if you know that you can the week before uh, riding your or the, going to the competition you can ride through your test at home or in a lesson without anyone calling it and you nail your test you know where you're going you know the movements or the morning of you can recite your test and you know your whole test off by heart the morning of the competition but then it gets into the you get into the ring and you go blank and you forget so if you fall into that category then it's not so much that you don't know how to remember your dressage test at all it's that performance nerves or anxieties about around competing are getting in the way and the mindset side of your competition journey is letting you down because you're getting into the arena feeling blank having a bit of a um a panic or a mind block around your test movements and that is the issue. Compared to the second option of, of why you might be forgetting your dressage test and that could be simply that you're learning your test in the wrong method or the wrong learning style for you. So this series is more around that area that you're um, just struggling to remember your test so even practicing at home or remembering it, reciting it to yourself is a bit of a struggle and you've got to really think about, okay, what's the next movement, what's the next step. If it doesn't come easy for you once you've read through it once or twice or once you've kind of learnt it the first time, if you're still then struggling, it could be that you're learning the, tre the test in, a, in the wrong learning style and it's not matching up with how you prefer to learn. So that's why I want you to jump on to the link and download the, the free quiz, find out what your learning style is so that next video I'll talk more about the four different learning styles uh, which are visual, auditory, kinesthetic which is all about doing and feeling and audio digital. So I want you to work out what's your preferred learning style and then next week we can talk a bit more about those ones and how you can play to your strengths and learn your tests the right way for you. So I hope that makes sense guys. If you find that you're more, fall, fall more into the first category of you can remember your test up until the point you have to ride your test, then that's more of a mindset thing and that's more um, so checking out my videos around performance nerves uh, and it might be doing some work around your, your mindset and being able to stay relaxed and focused on the day. So that's a little bit uh, different way of tackling it I suppose. So have a great week guys and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.